you know, whether this concept of augmentation, specifically of an ERP, is new. And, and I don't think it is. I, no, I think like it depends it's... on the lens you look at it through. Mm. But as an example, um, those who wanted to deliver rich commerce experiences figured this out a long time ago. Rather than pr use the uh, short description and long description that was sitting in an ERP yep. system and just put that on a web page, um, they realized that enrichment was a requirement. And yep. an ERP wasn't a great place to do product enrichment, storing images, longer descriptions, relationships between products, potentially, uh, looks, potentially. Um, and then that, that's been you know, a series of other systems, things like product information management systems or, or product content management systems within yep. commerce platforms or, or standalone. So this concept of ERP um, being central but not taking responsibility for everything is not new. Um, a lot of the challenges that we're seeing today are, as you said, it's around fulfillment, it's around availability, it's around certainty of the promise that you can yeah. make to your customers. So I think while we're talking about that, and you know, this is certainly an area that's very uh, interesting to, to me, it's, a, it's an area that, that Fluent specializes in, obviously. Um, supply chain is a term that's on the, you know, the front page and has been on the front page and it's entered the mainstream vernacular, whereas it previously was dusty back rooms. Um, that, that, I think, is why it's, uh, it's one of the focuses today, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. Like, if we look at it, the first generation econ, and believe it or not, we've all been there, right, was websites writing off an ERP. We had order management, we had customer records, we had pricing, we had all of the different types of functional components that were fairly baked in to the actual crux of how you operate as an organization. Then you started to augment some of the pieces out, like you're saying PIM, but it could also be CRM, which were the natural points of differentiation for these e-com propositions that were present at the time, like product experience as an example, or simply uh, starting to free up the data around the customer. And what we're starting to see now is that supply chain, meaning your actual demand planning, starts to become more or less a best of breed. Like typically there is a best of breed conversation in that, meaning it needs to be augmented and kind of freed out of that ERP box. Then equally around availability and stock with inventory, because of the distributed super complex nature, sometimes it's even first party inventory. Sometimes it's marketplaces with you only being the merchant of record or oh, sorry, being the, the, the drop shipper uh, on behalf of another merchant of record. And some other times it might be through a partnership, meaning the stock and availability equation is becoming more complex than ever. And then finally, also payment execution. We've also seen that starting to make its way out of the ERP, right? Because now the expectations to having flexibility on how you choose to pay, finance, no finance, credit card, digital wallets, whatever payment option you prefer should be accommodated. And it's simply not something the ERP can execute for you. So supply chain with demand planning, stock and availability and inventory, and then, uh, and then obviously also payment execution are typical places where you start to augment. And then obviously also the OMS uh, component, which I should have put into the first generation as well. Yeah, so I, I think that, um, that supply chain planning side um, probably took a few steps ahead of supply yeah. chain execution, didn't it? Yeah. Um, planning and forecasting. However, it, th there's a really great link between supply chain execution and supply chain planning and the, the cyclical nature of one informing the other. And I think that's a really good example of where trying to keep everything within one system um, yeah, might, might look architecturally pure, but those different areas haven't matured within an ERP at the same pace and striving that, um, that kind of augmentation or uh, pulling out of those components from an ERP 